Part 2. The Practice of Contemplation Chapter 1. The Meaning of the Four Samadhis The four types of regulating and rectifying bring about the illumination of perfect quiescence in one life. The five categories of preparatory practices train one's uncontrolled physical, verbal, and mental actions. Though one experiences craving, one nevertheless can gain enlightenment concerning Bodhi wisdom. By contemplating the cycle of birth and death, one is awakened to nirvana. One crosses over this realm of delusion on the raft of practice and thus completes this doctrine. Where else can one seek the torch of wisdom that illumines this dark room? A detailed interpretation of the meaning of this practice requires establishing three sections. The first is the introduction. The second is scriptural support. And the third is interpreting its fulfillment. Introduction Question. How many parts are there in this section? Answer. There are two parts. The first lists the names, and the second interprets the names. List of Names Question. What is the list of names? Answer. 1. The constantly sitting samadhi. 2. The constantly walking samadhi. 3. The half-walking and half-sitting samadhi. And 4. The neither walking nor sitting samadhi. Interpretation of the Names Question. What is the interpretation of the names? Answer. Samadhi refers to regulating, rectifying, and concentrating. Question. What is regulated to justify calling it regulating and rectifying? Answer. Physical, verbal, and mental activity are regulated and rectified. Question. How do you know that samadhi means regulating and rectifying? Answer. The Ta Chi Tu Lun says, quote, A good mind dwells in one place without moving. This is called Samadhi. Close quote. Question. What is the meaning of this treatise passage? Answer. One place refers to the Dharma realm. In the state of cessation and contemplation, one can concentrate without wavering. With these four practices as conditions, one contemplates the mind. And with these conditions, one regulates and rectifies physical, verbal, and mental activity. Therefore, it is called samadhi. Question. From what languages are the terms samadhi and regulating and rectifying? Answer. Samadhi is Sanskrit, and regulating and rectifying is Chinese. Question. Regulating and rectifying is the same in all Buddhist practice. Why is it called constantly sitting and so forth? Answer. Regulating and rectifying is common to all Buddhist contemplation. Constantly sitting is a distinctive type of contemplation. Scriptural Support Question. On what sutra is the constantly sitting samadhi based? Answer. It is based on the two Prajnaparamita sutras. The Arya Sapta Satika Mama Prajna Paramita Sutra, or Sutra explained by Manjushri, and the Wen Shu Shi Li Wen Ching, or Questions by Manjushri, and it is called the Single Practice Samadhi. Question. In these sutras, the practice is only called Single Practice, and is not called Constantly Sitting. Why, then, are these quoted as evidence for this practice? Answer. Single practice refers to its doctrinal content, and constantly sitting refers to the physical regulations. Question. Why is the practice called the single practice in these sutras? Answer. One singly contemplates the Dharma realm. Therefore, it is also called the Lotus Samadhi.